Okay, hello everybody, my name is Cliff and today I'm going to show you how to upload a single annotated spectrum to the GNPS library. So, what you're going to want to do, oops, not Safari, make sure you don't go to Safari, make sure when you're doing your GNPS workflow you're using something other than that, such as Firefox. So once you open up Firefox, You want to go gnps ucc.edu, and what you're going to want to do is log in. And again, all the documentation is found on the first web page when you up or when you log in. So, in terms of contributing to libraries, you can find documentation here to support this video. Um, what you're going to want to do is you want to click on the banner. And in this case, what I want to do is I want to upload this spectrum, LISO PAF standard, which I, uh -oh, which I, um, let's put it right here. So this has been converted into the .mzxml from my raw file. I got it from a uh, LTQFT direct infusion mass spectrometry instrument. And I know I got this from the commercial, so I'm going to upload this as a single annotated spectrum in the bronze. And I'm going to call this LISO plate that reading factor C16. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to upload this spectrum. What you can do is from your upload file, wherever you want to put it into, you can drag this into here and it should upload and then you'll see it in your input files here okay so this is the library that you're going to be uploading to the GMPS library and this is the file that you're going to have in your spectrum file that's what you want to include you finish selection and then again the library class will be bronze um, there's silver gold depending on the confidence of data upload and then again, we're going to do a direct infusion from iron source instrument from an iron trap, positive mode from commercial data collector would be me. Let's call it Cliff. And then principal investigator would be Doris Dye. Um, I'm doing the first scan for this um, with your adduct, compound name. Precursor and charge. Okay. And then what you want to do is in your advance, at the bare minimum, you want to include this CAS number. So we can um, not just validate your upload, but also make sure that um, the molecule you're saying you're uploading is actually uh, correct. And then you just submit it. Um, once you submit it, submit it, it should be um, uploaded into the library and let's see, this should be in here. So it should say uh, single annotated bronze completed. Um, Then you're going to want to view this in the new library. In this case, this was a sodiated addict that I uploaded earlier. And you're going to want to update this. You can check it on here. Oh, yes, you can. We're going to update it. And then it should be updated. Um, now, when we, these files should be incorporated into the library. Um, if there are any problems, that you see with your upload what you can do is you can add annotation comments you can call this something LISO PAF C16 problem and then you can comment on um, whatever happened so you can say that misnamed 
ISO PF and then you can say correct sodium add it in place of M plus H. Some, something like that. So you can comment on it after and submit it. So there's also a way to comment on annotations as well. Okay. All right. So that's basically how to upload um, data sets to the GNPS library. Mahalo.